Hello and welcome back to Searching the Archives. Today I'd like to talk about the sacraments, and in particular I'd like to focus on the sacrament of holy matrimony, or marriage. So basically, like, sacraments are an outward sign of an inward grace. So there are things that are instituted by our Lord Jesus Christ, and therefore our sanctification. They're sort of the ordinary means by which God dispenses his uh, divine life into ours and helps us to become more holy or more like him. The Catholic Church teaches there are seven sacraments. I don't know if transactional is probably not the right word, but I can under I go to receive Holy Communion on a given day. I go to confession and here I'm absolved from my sins. Uh, these are very apparent to me how they could be considered sacraments and oftentimes they're accompanied by like a great influx of feeling very close to God. But I've always felt, you know, how is marriage like these other sacraments? It seems utterly different. It seems, first of all, it's much less transactional, for lack of a better word, and it's over a much longer period of time, right? What I've learned, I've been married now five years, is if you look and listen closely, you can see a breadcrumb of trails, right? I can see there have been very significant instances where God clearly is using my wife as an, sort of an instrument to get through to me. An example of that happened just the other day. And so I wanted to share that with you guys. Basically, I'm driving to go pick up my daughters from school and I get a text from my wife. The Jehovah's Witnesses are in, are in the neighborhood. They're going door to door, right? And immediately my mind starts swirling, right? I'm thinking, put on the chain mail, you know, get your Bible in hand. All these combative thoughts or what are you gonna say to them, blah, blah, blah. I think my literal, uh, uh, and I quote, my, I send a text back to her, I quote, tell them that you're Catholic and they will depart immediately. That is the first response I had to my wife, to these people coming to our doorstep. So I send that text, right? And a couple 20 or so minutes go by and I get a, I get a response from my wife. I opened the door. I was very friendly with them. They seemed very nervous. They were nice. And immediately I'm like, oh my gosh, like I'm struck to the heart, right? I'm like, how different are our first, my inclination and hers. So a little while later I get home, of course, and I'm like, so, you know, can you tell me a little bit more? Like, how did it go? Like what happened, you know? And she's like, well, I saw these two, basically these two older African-American women, they were at the door. She opens the door and they basically are very timidly, you know, she said the, the one was visibly like sh trembling. I mean, her voice was cracking. And because um, you can imagine these people get yelled at, probably the ugliest vitriol you can imagine gets hurled at them all day, right? But she's like very timidly like, do you know about God? And, you know, of course my wife's like, yes. And she's like, well, we just think, you know, the government's kind of in a bad way. The world's kind of going bonkers and, and, and essentially I'm paraphrasing, but we need more God. And, you know, here, take this pamphlet, you know, use any Bible you have at home, whatever version you have, you know, take a look at this pamphlet. And they had a other couple pleasant exchanges, but the whole thing was, was very, very kind. Okay. So... Obviously, I think it's important to, I'm not advocating anyone go out and become a Jehovah's Witness, right? I feel very strongly the Catholic Church is the fullness of the Christian faith. And, but, but I don't think that was the point. I, and I don't think, you might say, David, well, why, you know, we're not going to just put all our differences aside and sing Kumbaya. It's like, okay, I'm not saying that. But I do think like everything happens for a reason. And I think that it's not a coincidence that I wasn't home when my wife was. And so... I don't think this was the time or the place for a combative battle over theology. I think what I was gaining was something greater than that in the sense of why is my first inclination when someone wants to talk to us about God, find the differences and hammer on those differences. Imagine if you worked in a secular workplace and your coworker who was an atheist came to you one day and said, I think our society needs more God right? Like you'd probably be overjoyed, but no, the, when the Jehovah's Witnesses come by, I want to put on the Catholic chain mail and debate theology with them, find where we disagree and then attack. Like I said, I don't think that these are insignificant differences, but I could very clearly see where 
my wife was conveying something of God's grace to me in that day. I gained something from it. Very significant. Sometimes you go to confession and you feel really close to God afterwards. I felt that same thing through this interaction, um, learning from my wife in that way. And, and I know I've had the reverse has happened where I've helped her see something differently. And so it's, it's a different kind of sacrament, but it's a sacrament nonetheless. And I think that I'm excited to see, try to keep listening for those times when God's trying to help me, help me along the path. So I hope that you got something out of this. I am going to, I know it's been a long time since I made a video, so I'm going to be making more videos. I've got some more books to read. I just picked up two new books uh, from short stories from some Russian authors, uh, Leo Tolstoy and Nikolai Gogol. So I hope to have some cool content coming out for you shortly. Thanks, and I hope to see you soon.